Hello, my name is Chris Olson, and I'm here today to discuss assignment number four for MIT 805 at Fort Hayes State University, in which during assignment two, a group of us went together and created a Google community that focused on learning tools. So this is a reflection of that second assignment for MIT 805. For assignment number two, I decided to try to do something with learning tools that I could utilize immediately within the classroom. Our class was getting ready to start public service announcements as a project, and so I decided to utilize that for the learning tools assignment. Uh, and I was really focusing on what avenue students could take in order to create a public service announcement. My hope was that they could expand their horizons and that I could learn about some new tools as well through what they found. So the basic premise was that the students had to create a public service announcement about a topic that mattered to them. The first step that I needed to do was actually present the project. I needed to tell them what a public service announcement was. I needed to explain about how public service announcements can inform or persuade, how they can educate the population, and that they include a call to action, something that they want the population to do. At that point in time, I needed to set up some limitations. There was only a certain amount of time that we could spend in class working on the project, so they were, they were restricted by a time frame in which they needed to complete the project. And I also set up some boundaries as to what they could and could not use. From there, the students had to plan. They had to figure out what topic they wanted to use and actually work on creating the basis of a PSA. And from there, then they needed to find a way to actually create that PSA through some sort of web-based tool so that I could, in the end, link it to a website. So one of the big questions that my students had was what to use. One of the limitations that I placed on there was the fact that they could not use PowerPoint. They could not use Google Slides. These are things that students are very familiar with and tend to fall back on when they're looking at completing projects. And I really wanted to open them up to what else is out there. In the end, the students were able to find a lot of new resources, things that they could use in order to complete projects. Uh, it also taught me about a lot of new resources. It also expanded their horizons. Um, they were able to look at what other students were using and see kind of some of the cool features of that and talk about like maybe using that for future projects. And I found that by removing the stale thing that they were used to doing, the PowerPoints, the Google Slides, they seem to have a lot of fun with exploring possibilities. So some of the things that I learned about doing this project, uh, some of the learning tools I learned about was Story Jumper, which is a site that allows people to create children's stories. Some of my students use this to create public service announcements that in essence could be shared with anyone. Uh, another site that I learned about was Wix. Wix is a way to create a website. Uh, I've used Weebly in the past and have assigned Weebly as an assignment in the past for different projects, but I've never really seen Wix. Uh, it looks to be a lot more professional. I like the pages that came out of it that the students created. Another thing I learned about through this project was Canva. Canva is an infographic, but unlike a lot of the other infographic programs, it has the ability to create posters, infographics, brochures, letterheads, a lot of other things. Another one that I learned about was Twisted Wave. Twisted Wave is uh, audio recording and editing software that is online. I've used Audacity in the past that you need to download, but this worked out really well for like students with Chromebooks. And another one I learned about was Soundation. This is all about recording music. I had some students that worked on creating songs to go for the, to use for this project. Uh, and our school has a really big musical influence. I am not musical. Uh, I, my students tried to show me how to use this. I did not understand it, but it's good to know that I can push this as an option for students to be able to use in the future. Once everyone was done, I created a website and uh, linked all the public service announcements of my students to that website. And some of the big takeaways that I took from this was new resources. I learned about a lot of new resources. My students found things that I had never heard of before. There's so much out there that it was nice to be able to learn about some new things that I could then in turn promote for future projects. And the other big thing was just the collaboration aspect, working together with a group of other professionals within the class, looking at their posts, also taught me about a lot of new things that I could take and place into my classroom as well. 